so this is problem number 7 on uh, equilibrium of forces okay uh, we will go through the problem the system of connected flexible cable shown in figure is supporting two loads of 400 newton and 500 newton at points b and d okay there are two forces 400 newton and 500 newton applied at joints b and d respectively determine the tensions in the various segments of the cable due to these forces applied there will be uh, forces induced in the members a b b c b d and d e okay we have to determine the forces induced in all these members okay that is what the that is what the question here now before going to solve the problem first we have to find the angles to so find the angles you draw one horizontal and one vertical at joint D and a horizontal at joint B vertical is already there we will find the angles first okay so at joint D we have the 45 degree we will have the same angle here at joint D 45 degree correct 45 degree then the the total angle here is 90 90 minus 45 this angle is, will also become 45 45 so the overall angle here becomes 90 okay this 90 plus 45 135 degree 135 degree okay so here uh, at joint B we have 60 degree angle we will have the same angle here 60 degree correct 60 degree so the overall angle means the angle BDE will be how much 60 plus 45 105 degree 105 degree so here the remaining angle will be means here you will get 30 30 again 30 plus this 90 will give 120 now we have determined angles at joint D and at joint D the overall angle here is 90 90 minus 30 it will be 60 degree it will be 60 degree okay and on this side 90 minus 60 will give 30 degree okay so we will stop finding the angles here uh, at joint b what i have done is i have determined only the horizontal inclination of uh, member bd and member bc okay i have not determined the angle between the cables okay i will tell you the reason later uh, while doing the calculation here okay now next very important step is to consider the joint is to consider the joint remember we have to select a joint with not more than two unknowns okay we have to select the joint in such a way that there should not be more than two unknowns okay see if you take joint b no if you consider joint b force in member bc is unknown force in member ba is unknown force in member bd is unknown how many unknowns are there at joint b there are three unknowns there are three unknowns therefore you cannot select joint b okay you have to select joint in such a way that there should not be more than two unknowns now if you select joint d if you select joint d force in member bd is unknown and force in member de is unknown only two unknowns are there only two unknowns are there therefore you can select joint d first 
okay now select joint d select joint d joint d i'll write the separate diagram of the joint d So at joint D, there is a force of 500 Newton acting. Here angle is 135. On this side, it is 120. So here it is 105 degree. 105 degree. So here TDE. So here TBD. TBD. Now apply the Lamy's theorem. Now applying Lamy's theorem. Lamy's theorem. We will get TBD divided by sine for member BD. 135 degree is the opposite angle. Sine 135 is equal to 500 divided by sine 105 is equal to TDE divided by for member DE opposite angle is 120 degree sine 120. Now consider first and second equation therefore TBD is equal to 500 sine 135 divided by sin 105 so you will get the force in number bd okay you will get the force in member bd as 366.02 newton 366.02 newton now considering second and third equation tde is the unknown therefore TDE is equal to 500 sin 120 divided by sin 105. Therefore, force in member DE is equal to 448.28 Newton. 448.28 Newton. Now we got member uh, forces in members. Uh, VD and DE. Let me write these forces in the diagram. Force in member BD is 366.02. 366.02 Newton. Force in member DE, we got it as 448.28 Newton. 448.28 Newton. Okay. Now, you can select joint B. Okay. Now the force in member BD is known. Correct. Only the unknowns are TBA and TBC. Correct. Now select joint B. Select joint B. Joint B. Joint B. Now I will write the diagram of the joint B alone. At joint B there are four lines. Okay. So on the left side it is TBA. T B A. Then T B C is there here. T B C and here T B D is there and its value is known now, correct? Three sixty six point zero two. 366.02 newton and we have 
vertical force of 400 newton here vertical force of 400 newton and angle of tpc is 60 and bd is 30 degree 60 degree and 30 degree okay now this is tbd okay this we have already determined by considering the joint d okay now you cannot apply the lamis theorem because if you observe the figure there are four concurrent forces okay there are four concurrent forces in the figure but the lamis theorem is applicable only for three concurrent forces lamis theorem is applicable only for three concurrent forces so as we have four forces here we cannot apply the lamis theorem therefore alternate method to find these unknown forces is uh, to use equilibrium conditions using using the equilibrium conditions we have to solve for unknown forces tbc and tba okay therefore uh, what i have done is I have not determined the angle between the cables, just I have determined the horizontal inclination. Okay, horizontal inclination now for number BD and the VC. Okay, we just need these horizontal inclinations to apply the equilibrium conditions. To apply the Lamis theorem, we, we have to calculate the angle between the cables. Okay, to apply the equilibrium conditions, we, we just have to have. Uh, the horizontal inclination or the inclination of the members with the x axis that's it okay so whenever there are four forces you have to calculate just the horizontal inclination of the members that's it okay so here i'll write the components for inclined forces for tbc horizontal component is tbc cos 60 vertical component is tbc sin 60 and for 366.0 to newton horizontal component is 366.0 to cos 30 vertical component is 366.0 to sin 30 in 30 okay now we have three equilibrium conditions initially we will apply first equilibrium condition applying applying equilibrium condition that is sigma fx is equal to 0 this is the first equilibrium condition that is algebraic sum of forces in the x direction is equal to 0 so we have tba force which is acting in left direction minus tba and we have tbc cos 60 force acting in right direction plus tbc cos 60 then we have 366.0 to cos 30 force acting in right direction plus 366.0 to cos 30 is equal to 0 okay so here in this equation we have two unknowns let it be as it is we will call this as equation number one now we will apply the next equilibrium condition that is sigma fi equal to zero taking or applying applying sigma fi is equal to zero this is the second equilibrium condition sum of forces in y direction is equal to zero so we have tbc sin 60 acting in upward direction sin is plus plus tbc sin 60 then 
we have 366.02 sin 34 acting in downward direction minus minus 366.02 sin 30 and we have 400 newton force acting in downward direction minus 400 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 ok by this you can calculate force in member PC if you calculate the answer you will get the answer as a 673.2 newton 673.2 newton ok now you can substitute the value of TBC in equation 1 so that you can get the value of TBA substitute the value of TBC in equation 1 therefore minus TBA minus TBA then plus TBC value is 673.2 cos 60 plus 366.02 cos 30 is equal to 0 if you take TBA to the RHS and if you calculate the value of these two terms you will get the answer as force in member BA as 653.58 Newton ok therefore force in member BC is equal to force in member BC is equal to 673.2 673.2 Newton and force in member BA how much we got 653.58 Newton by 8 Newton ok this completes the problem we have got forces in all segments of the cable we got force in member BA force in member BC force in member BD and force in member DE ok so to this uh, solution of uh, this particular problem is over. Thank you.